Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create a tabular report by using Report Wizard in SSRS. So what is a tabular report? Tabular report is very basic or simple report that consists of columns and rows. So here is one of the example. As you can see that this is sale report and it consists of some columns and we have some data in the rows. So this is a report we need to create by using SSRS. Right now this is just in the Excel. I have put the data here. Now what we want to do first of all when we are thinking to create a report from SSRS we need a data source we need to extract this information from somewhere in my case I have data in SQL server table so here I have sales database in that database I have total sale table and uh, here is the query select asterisk from that table so this is selecting all of those columns one thing I don't recommend writing asterisk if uh, you do not need a column such as ID you don't need in the report uh, why to use uh, everything and get to the reporting services uh, and then uh, ignore that uh, why not to select uh, what is required uh, so I will go ahead and say select top thousand records and now I will remove the thousand and here I, I also remove uh, the database uh, name I'm gonna use this query to build uh, the data set or use this query as a data set for my report but I will be using a report wizard I will not create this report from empty uh, template but I, I will have another demo where we will do that so let's understand the report wizard and steps that are involved to create the report now first of all here we have to open SSRS project or solution then we will have to start a report wizard and that will ask us different questions and we have to provide those information to create our final report and uh, uh, here the third step is okay we will be creating a report tabular report and uh, we will be using uh, data coming from SQL server table and at the end of the uh, report one the report will be ready we will be deploying that report to the report server for our users to take a look now open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools once uh, the SSDT SQL Server Data Tool is open go to file hit new and project here you have to provide uh, the project name and solution name there are multiple ways uh, you can start a report server project wizard from here as well once you do it here it, the, it will start the wizard so let me show you from here and uh, other options as well so let's call this one uh, uh, tabular report underscore sale so this is a our um, project name and this is our solution so I'm gonna call this one SLN so this is just just the name for the solution directory now hit ok once you hit ok it is going to start a wizard for you so that's great you can do that or uh, there is other way around once uh, you create the uh, uh, project uh, even an empty project with the default report server project you can go to the reports and click here let me close this one you can go to the reports and click here and say add new report so anywhere once this you are you are done with the creating the project and solution what happen you can go here and create a report by using the wizard or as you see that if we will use the report project with wizard it will automatically initiate it but let me use this one for now so we learn both ways we can start when we create the report uh, project or we can uh, open any project existing project and we can go from here so now we have uh, the report wizard next uh, here it is it is asking us provide me the data source uh, from where you want to extract the data for this uh, report uh, so I'm gonna call this one uh, sales maybe I will just call it uh, data source underscore sales and now I know that it is coming from SQL Server so I selected the SQL Server and uh, if your data source uh, is something different Teradata or Oracle or anything you can have uh, selections here you have options to select and you can provide the connection string right here in my case I don't want to write by myself and make mistake I'm gonna go to edit and then select uh, the SQL Server name and database name so once we have the SQL Server name next is database name sales and we test connection hit ok 
all good so this is a equal to data source that's our server name and then uh, initial catalog is the database uh, name now if you want to make it shared uh, data source that means uh, other reports uh, can use this uh, data source so you can click here and that will make it uh, shared if you will not do it it will leave this one as embedded data source uh, for this uh, report uh, what we are going to create so i'm going to make it shared anyways next now we have a query builder here i will go ahead and leave this option for another time query builder is where you can build the query from multiple tables so i'm going to have video uh, in just few minutes on this one as well so here you can paste the query whatever we have prepared so we don't have to go to query builder and prepare our query as we have already prepared the query so we can just paste the query here if you are using a store procedure you will say an execute a store procedure name and that's it next one thing if you notice here uh, in the wizard you don't have uh, uh, parameters so uh, with the, if you are creating reports with the wizard you will not be creating the reports with the parameters it's a more basic reports you are going to create next uh, you will be selecting what type of report you will be creating here we know that we are interested to create a tabular report so I'm gonna select tabular and now if you remember here uh, we see everything uh, in the one table so here are our columns and here is our data so this is the format we want to create now let me go back here we are not interested to display anything on page level and we are not interested to group anything in this level we want everything to be in the detail so keep selecting columns one after one so keep hitting detail so it will select all the columns you have the option if you want to remove some column it will bring it back and then you can add it back by selecting here and click on details so that's how you will see that also you can see this is how the, your report will look like it is only showing the details it is not showing you on page level or group level the only the yellow part tells us okay it will be this is the information you will see or in this format you will see the information so hit next and then here you have option to select the style of your report or table so you have slate um, you have forest and all those kind of bold and ocean so let's go with the uh, ocean for now and here we can name this report remember in the excel we had to call it a sale report if we want to name anything we can go ahead and name this one we'll call it a monthly sale let's say monthly sale report and now the last option is it is given us a summary it is telling us which data source it is going to use which connection string it is using uh, okay report type is table it is clean layout uh, type is tabbed and uh, style you have ocean here is uh, some columns of what we are uh, using for this uh, report and this is the query we are using so you can take a look uh, on the summary and if uh, anything doesn't make sense to you you can go back uh, and change that now this is we can finish it here or we can go ahead and say preview report I, I will go ahead and preview it nothing is uh, that's not gonna harm anything so we will preview take a look how our report will look like it is taken some time and if you see that this is how our report is looking like but monthly sale report that's the name of the report then we have these columns here and uh, some of the columns are coming in two lines uh, because they are lengthy and they did not fit into the uh, these uh, cells uh, so we can uh, take care of them also the sold date is uh, not uh, coming in correct format uh, what we have seen here in the excel so we are seeing just the date part but it is bringing time as well so it is a uh, 12 a.m. for every field so that's not correct information but we can do once we are done with the creating this tabular report we can do some formatting so that's a very quick way to create the reports I like a wizard so many times when I need to create a quickly some basic reports and uh, let me make some space here now we can go to design and we can change few things so let me make it some more space here and uh, we can expand this part on this side and this is our table and sorry here you can select the table and then uh, if you want to make a and um, change any cell let's say we want to just uh, increase the width of these columns uh, we can go ahead and select them so it's pre pretty much like it's Excel so you just uh, move the cells and all 
now this is good item sold everything looks good rest of that is fine and here let me see I want to go ahead and increase this width as well now we are fine and uh, if you remember with the sold date uh, column format is not correct uh, this is a uh, now we can see that the columns are coming correct uh, but uh, information is also we can do center and all those kind of things uh, let me go to the design of let's fix the date part first uh, so right click uh, or click here first uh, and then right click and say text box properties once uh, you will see the properties are all here we have number alignment font border and uh, there's a lot of things we are going to go across these options in uh, next videos so go to number now and once you go to number you will see the date as our column is the date now here we can select the format or the type in which you want which we want to show our uh, data so i am going to select this year month and day so that's how i, I want to present uh, and this is called the current regional setting english uh, united states uh, so hit okay now if you go and preview our report uh, we'll see the correct information and the time is gone uh, actually this column was never with the time so if you take a look here in our data it was just the data so report uh, reporting services uh, was taken this one as a date time but we have fixed the, the data type now so it is looking good the last part uh, what we can do we can deploy this uh, report once this report is created uh, by using the wizard uh, there are a few things uh, you will see here in the report data you will see the data source if I click here I'm not going anywhere because I'm in the preview of a report so let me click, uh, click on design now if I will click on data sources I can take a look so right here the arrow that does tell us okay it is using shared data source so we can see that DS sales this is the data source it is using and the, the query we have pasted while we were building this report by using the wizard that's in the data set if you remember that data set is a result or the outcome or the result set returned by the query and it's it named it data set one we can always go back and take data set properties and change if you want let's say in this case I want to uh, sell total or total sale so I will say um, DS SCT data set sale total now hit OK we don't have to make any changes on the other side so these are the columns we have selected by using the query and we are all good now uh, this data set is embedded data set so if you see here in the shared asset we don't see this is as a shared so when you will create the report with the wizard it is going to create embedded data set embedded data set that is only available to that report and shared data set which can be used across multiple reports now we have the video on that one as well so you can watch it now let's go to this preview and take a look now everything looking good you can adjust uh, you can bring the data in the middle and uh, uh, align left or right whatever you want in so now the last part we what we are going to do we are we are done with the creating a report we have to deploy this report uh, to the reporting services uh, so let me reopen this one let's go to home and uh, here I'm these uh, were the already created uh, some of the folders uh, so I'm going to delete all of them so I can show you how fresh uh, or first time you can deploy your reports now in the reporting uh, here let me take this uh, server name so we'll take the server name so it is called report server underscore equal 2014 that's my report server the reports uh, this uh, Amir PC backslash reports uh, is the interface where you will see the reports uh, so you have to take the report server name so this is a different interface uh, that's where our we will manage our folders and deploy that and here we see those things and also we can uh, uh, go ahead and provide the uh, permissions and uh, say create folders and all those kind of thing from this uh, interface as well now let me go back quickly we go to the report uh, project uh, go to properties uh, and then here we can provide that uh, URL once we provide that URL here we are good and this is the folder we want to uh, deploy the data set this is the folder we want to deploy the data source and uh, this is uh, the folder we want to create on the report server you can change let's say we want to just the sale sale data sale folder and we can do that now why we deploy the report because 
all the users uh, once you are done with the creating a report uh, the user want to see the report uh, and uh, you don't uh, want to co copy and paste in excel or give this report to the users uh, or you don't want to give them permission to come to your uh, machine and uh, uh, take a look on the report that's why we deploy these report to the report server and uh, user will have permission on that report server and then they can take a look on this uh, report let's hit apply hit okay now go back to the report wizard and say deploy now it's going to deploy that you can see that the data source went to the data source folder and then uh, our report went to the sale folder on the report server now if we refresh it this is what we have we have a data source that's our ds sales and then here in the sale uh, folder we have our report now let's click on this one and we will be able to see the reports so this is a beautiful report now why we create deploy this report see even still here you can see that once we deploy the report it is coming in two columns so let me fix this one real quick one more time and take a look uh, let's go back here and go here make some more space and uh, now we hit save build let's build it so the changes will be done and it it will build the project now let's go back one more time and redeploy the and it will overwrite the existing report in the report server now let's refresh it run the report and now it is coming correct so multiple times you have to make changes and take a look so this is a very simple report but looks good right and uh, uh, thanks very much for watching this video and we are going to create some other reports with the wizard and get familiar what we can do with the wizard and then uh, uh, eventually we can take these uh, reports created by the wizard and uh, also make changes on top of these uh, so my recommendation if it is simple report why not to use the wizard uh, that make it easy and you can uh, create the reports uh, quickly thanks very much once again